Welcome to this Chief M3 demonstration. In this session, we focus on a real-life case study, the collapse of Ocean Gate's Titan submersible. We will demonstrate how Chief EM3's new time-dependent mechanical property analysis helps us understand the true causes of failure. The central question, was the collapse linked to water ingress into the composite hull, or was it the result of structural design limitations? To explore this, we simulate Titan's hull under deep-sea operating conditions. We used ABAX to generate the model and uploaded it into Chef M3. The domes are made of titanium, while the cylindrical section is composed of carbon composite. In this demo, we focus on a node located at the interface between the two materials. At a depth of 3,800 meters near the Titanic wreck, the submersible experienced 380 bar hydrostatic pressure, a seawater temperature of 4 degrees Celsius, and an internal environment at 19 degrees Celsius and 1 bar. Salinity was set to 0.97, matching realistic ocean conditions. For the material model, we used a carbon fiber reinforced epoxy resin system, representative of aerospace and oil and gas composites. Automated matrix inputs include elastic modulus, yield strength, a reference temperature of 23 degrees Celsius, fiber orientation at 0 and 90 degrees, and approximately 2% microvoids. The wall thickness was set at 127 millimeters. Finite element constraints were applied axially and circumferentially, while radial displacement remained free. In this demo, we focus on node 478 located at the interface between the two materials, where the stress intensity is approximately 1.4 times higher than the average. This effect is accounted for in the final calculated collapse pressure. With this setup, Chief M3 can now analyze how exposure affects the laminate's performance over time. First, let's examine the fully saturated case. At equilibrium, water uptake reached 1.76%. The diffusion rate was 3.5 times 10 to the minus 12 meters squared per second, and the glass transition temperature dropped by 13.4 degrees Celsius. Mechanical properties included stiffness of 79 gigapascals, tensile strength of 0.84 gigapascals at 1.3% strain, and compression strength of 0.69 gigapascals. Under these conditions, the calculated collapse pressure was 258 bar with a safety factor of 2.5, equivalent to just 2,580 meters depth. This is significantly below Titan's actual operating environment. Next, we apply Chief M's new time-dependent mechanical property model, simulating 365 days of continuous exposure. See here the through thickness distribution of water in the composite. Negligible chemical thermal expansions. The results show water uptake remains far below saturation. Swelling is negligible and mechanical retention remains small. After one year, the time-dependent epoxy matrix TG shift is minus 1.4 degrees Celsius. Stiffness, 79 gigapascal, tensile strength, 0.82 gigapascals. Compression strength around 0.72 gigapascals.
In this case, the collapse pressure is 269 bar. A separate run, corresponding to an exposure time of only a few minutes, so without noticeable water uptake in the composite, gave 274 bar. Thus, the difference between the dry and fully saturated conditions is only 16 bar at the node evaluated. This tragic event shows why validated simulation is essential. Chief M3's Chemical Physical AI helps engineers design safer, more reliable composite structures for extreme environments.